Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video as always. But anyway guys, but I'll put in the dish table, we want to get straight down to this video, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So you guys can be a big front fan of the right, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So we're going to start off with the bottom three. Bottom three, I've gone with Fulham, Leeds and Bournemouth. Um, now, this is the first actual year I've had to jiggle it about and I'll tell you what, while we go through this video. But I'm not for them. I don't think for them have done quite enough in this window. The window is still open as I'm recording this. So, you know, in about a week's time it can all change. But anyway, I've gone with for them because, as I said, I just don't think they're strengthened enough in this window. You know, no disrespect to Fulham. Um, a lovely ground it is up there at the cottage. But I just don't think they've done enough to stay in the Premier League for the next season anyway 19th i went with leagues now this is another one i did have to switch around with another current club and i've just remembered as i was setting this video up with leagues they have lost calvin phillips and rafinha both one to city and one to uh, barcelona two big losses there for leagues i can't see them really doing a lot without any two pads unless they get someone in within you know the next few weeks as i said the window is still open even when the season starts so that's going to be an interesting season for these where they're currently sitting 18th i went with bournemouth now no disrespect to bournemouth a lovely little ground it is down in bournemouth ground i've been to a couple of times and a ground i'll be going to again this current season now with bournemouth scott parker even with Fulham, I don't think he managed to stand in the Premier League. I don't think he's got a manager at Bournemouth. And yet again, unless he's strengthened. Now we go to 17th to 11th. 17th, I went with Nottingham Forest. Now, Nottingham Forest, to me, may have just done enough to stay up. Steve Cooper, uh, and the Notts Forest manager, is best friends with Graham Potter. They worked together at Swansea, and they worked at, I think they worked at a couple of clubs together. Um, so that's why we're not surprised in 17th. I think he can ask Grandpa for a bit, little bit of advice if he needs it, and Grandpa will freely give it to him. In 16th, I went with Southampton. No disrespect to Southampton. I've been down there a couple of times last season. You can catch the vlogs on my channel. Now with um, Southampton, I think they might. I think they might um, have a few problems down there. I do think they may be able to survive, which might be this to them too, but it's going to be a very interesting season for Southampton and to see what can happen down at St Mary's. It could be a very interesting season for them. 15th, I'm sure some Everton fans will be happy with this, some Everton fans won't. I, you know, I stuck with 15th. It's got to be a lot better finishing in 17th if it's surviving by the scrap of your teeth. Frank Lampard's got some really good signings down there. I think maybe he needs to strengthen a bit more than this current window. Um, but as I said, it's going to be a very interesting um, season for Everton. But will they be able to stay up there? We're going to have to wait and see. They might even be able to finish higher. But as I said, there's still a few weeks left in this transfer window. So, you know, my opinions can all change by the time of then the season already starts as a bit too late to get it out. But this one I'm going with anyway, despite this video is here. Fourteenth, I went with Brentford. Brentford to me, now I did have to swap these around with another team in this Premier League table. Brentford, they're, I think it's their second season coming up in the Premier League. And you know, fair play to Brentford for actually staying up and doing so well in their first um, season. But losing Christian Eriksen to Man United, I think that's going to be a big loss for them. And I think that's why they're going to have a mid-bottom table season. And no disrespect to Brentford. But it's going to be a very interesting season for Brentford, I do think. 13th, I went with Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace, they always look at this window. I know they have brought a couple of players in. But... They always look at this window and not really strengthening in the right areas. Um, but it could still be a very interesting season for Palace. Will they finish higher? We're going to have to wait and see. In 12th, I went with Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton 
to me. Now I have got a few Wolverhampton friends out there um, and I know they're probably slightly disappointed with this prediction. Um, but yeah, again, it's all about strength in this window because of what's happened with the pandemic and that teams are unable to do so. Very interesting season falls. If I was a Wolves fan, I'd probably be happy with a prediction of 12. Um, purely because I think it's the second half of last season where they went a bit on the downer. But I've put Wolverhampton 12 purely because it gets strengthening um, in the right areas. Um, as I said, they've still got a few weeks to do so. And 11th, I went with Leicester. Leicester, to me, gone a bit downhill in the car past few seasons. I think they finished once in Europa and ever since then they've gone down, down, down. Um, but, you know, it could be really interesting season for uh, Leicester to see where they finish up anyway. So now we go from my 10th to 5th. And as you can tell, there's a few surprises in there already. 10th, I went with Villa. Steven Gerrard's Villa doing okay in the Premier League. But I think they have strengthened quite well this window. Um, you know, it's one of these things where if you're going to be a Villa fan, yeah, it'd probably be up in the top 10. I would be. In ninth, I went with ever struggling Newcastle. Um, now, if you did go back and watch my earlier Premier League predictions, I won't ruin this one by saying what I want to say. But go back and check that one. There will be something surprising in there to do with Newcastle. Um, but yeah, Newcastle did strengthen well this window. The only way I can see them is on the up. Um, I know a few Newcastle fans be happy with like 11th or 12th finish again. But I do believe they finish in the top 10. Because obviously what they're going on down there, everything's great with them. Um, it's just going to be a very interesting time for Newcastle. Um, especially this season coming up. In 8th I went with Chelsea. Now why I put Chelsea so low in this um, Premier League table. Especially this year as well. I'll give you my reasons behind this one. It's because I believe that Chelsea, they got problems going on. The likes of Tom Werner, maybe one of these, they might want to sell him. Lukaku's gone. Um, I just think there's a big, big problem down at Chelsea. Will we be able to see him higher up? Maybe, but Thomas Tuchel has got to get his head together and so does the players. But all this speculation going around at Chelsea at the minute, new owners as well. Um, it's going to be a very interesting time for Chelsea, especially this season, as I said, with the likes of the new owner. In seventh, I went with my club Brighton. Now, my club Brighton did just miss out on Europe last season. Um, now, I, I cannot, the, a lot of you saying about, oh, I've done this because, you know, Brighton fan or whatever. I've not done this because I'm a Brighton fan. I can tell you that now. Um, why I put them so highly is because last season they had such a big dip. I think they went like seven games without a win. Um, or maybe eight games because I think we drew to Norwich if I got that correctly. But if we didn't have that dip in that middle spell, so big dip, um, we were, I think, probably finished in Europe anyway. I do believe Brian could do it, but it's going to have to keep some players and I know what players they are. I ain't going to say who, but you could probably all work that out yourselves. In sixth, I went with West Ham, ever, like, ever so slightly West Ham. Europa League conferences this season, I'm going to predict them to put in Europa League for next season. Uh, you know, I ain't got really, I ain't got rid of any really big players. Uh, Declan Rice is captain, I believe. Um, you know, it's all gone pretty much at West Ham, I can't see why I can't finish in the top six. In fifth, I went with Arsenal. Go on, Arsenal fans, you all probably know that I put Spurs to finish at home. Why have I put Arsenal so low? Um, well, it ain't so low in that regard, but I do believe you're finishing your open league again. And I can see already Arsenal fans, you know, um, disliking this video or whatever, but. I'll put you in that position because I believe Tottenham and clubs around you have done a bit more. But there might just be a thing to go in the top four for you if you just give me a second. 
Whereas we now take on to the fourth and second. Man United. Now Man United could well finish in fifth if Arsenal do um, you know, do what they're gonna say, play good football, but you are gonna need Man United to step up. Um and we're gonna talk about pre season with United. Because obviously United are having such a good pre season, no carry drew to fill up. The likes of Ronaldo still going around about leaving. There's a few problems going up there for the new Man United manager. And I'm going up there for the first game of the season against Brighton. And there'll be a vlog on my channel about that. It's going to be a very interesting season for United. Will they keep a manager after a season? Will he stay in charge? That's my question. Will he be able to hit the ground running? And that's why I stuck him in the top four, I believe. Maybe not the first game, maybe not the second game, but the third, I think they will push on in the Premier League. In third, I went with Spurs. Now, Spurs, why have I predicted them so uh, highly this season? It's because of what they've done. The likes of Bazuma, they got a transfer of business done early. That You know, they have not messed around whatsoever. It's going to be a very, very interesting season for Spurs, especially if all these signings pay off the likes of Bazuma and everyone else around them. But I believe Spurs will finish in the top four, and I'll go third for that one. In second, I went with Liverpool, and I suppose I'll stick my top spot up as well now. Um, now, second, I went with Liverpool. I just think they might miss out, but I can't actually see Liverpool winning this league. I do believe that the fact of, you know, them having kept Salah may be a big deal to them, but it's going to have to wait and see what happens. Now, but it's amazing to win the league. Um, so, why have I predicted Man City to win the league? Now, I predicted Man City to win the league because of the Hoyland signing. And I'm going to tell you why I believe Liverpool can win this league if City step up. We've got the World Cup in the middle, we all know that. Now, every player has got to stay fit in the World Cup. Every player's mind about being overtired and all this halfway through the season. They've got to be even more tired when they return on Boxing Day. That period of Boxing Day all the way down to May is going to be a key f fixture and a key plan. And, it, you know, for Liverpool to go in the title is in that bracket. That's the bracket I'm going to be watching most of all this season. Uh, but anyway, guys, this has been my Premier League position table. You know what to do if you enjoy it. Give a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.